Hey guys, it's Rai bringing you episode 4 of Learning Lec Mod. This one's going to be about the importance of multi-stealing workers, how to set it up, and how to continue doing it in every single game so it's a very consistent thing. Okay, so let's just jump right in. We left off right here uh, in our last version. Uh, in our last episode, if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. The first episode of that series is going to be linked below. If you haven't seen my Honor series and you want to learn how to play Honor well, definitely go check that out. But if you're brand new to LEC, stay on here. Do not move to that Honor series just yet. Okay, so I'm going to just be showing how to steal workers properly. So I'm going to delete everything. Just going to queue some stuff. Um, and yeah. All right. So the first thing is, the first thing I want to wanted to mention was, how does vision work? All right. So let's let's look at Belgrade as a good example. So Belgrade can see all of these hills, but it can't see past the hills. So we know Belgrade can see one tile out, right? So Belgrade can see one tile out, 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 one tile out. Oh, what's this? It can see this hill. That's because cities can always see two tiles out if the second tile is a hill, right? So they can also see this hill. Unless there is something obscuring its view beforehand. So for instance, it can't see this hill because there's another hill in the way. And it can't see these tiles back here because they're flatland one, but even if they were hills, it couldn't because this forest is in the way, right? So the same concept works with city states. If I'm trying to steal from Masaru, I can't repeatedly steal workers from this tile, right? Because this is a hill and you can check it in strategic view much easier if you can't really tell, but this is this is a hill, so I'm not able to steal repeatedly from from that tile because it'll be able to steal my see my warrior and it'll be scared. Where do I have to go if I want to steal from Masaru? Well, let me spawn in a warrior, uh, a scout, and I'll show you. The best place for me to go would be right here. This tile allows me to move across this hill it can't see out because it can't see out two tiles right and it allows me to s repeatedly steal from Masaru on this horse tile alternatively I could do the exact same thing with Talon I could stand right here with this scout steal from this horse tile so I'm going to show you both of them and just kind of show you how this works another thing is the reason I wouldn't steal from Havana is even though it was right there and it was very easy to take, I'd have to walk all the way around Havana, right? And we wanted to settle this city first. I'd have to walk all the way around Havana for it to get there. That's a lot of time where the time to travel is not worth it if I'm repeatedly doing it. If it's only happening one time, different story, right? If you're doing this on honor, or you're multi-stealing workers, you're only you're stealing from more than one city state, you know, go for it. Take take the worker. But if you want if you value your influence with city states for the long term and you value having quick time if you value repeatedly stealing from the same city state, this is how you have to do it. Okay. So we as we mentioned, we figured out how we can steal multiple workers from Talon and Masaru. So every turn, okay, it just spawned a worker. So I have a feeling, because it hasn't grown to this this gems tile, we don't know what's over here, but it's likely that, you know, it's nothing really for us. Just make that brown. Okay. Up. Oh. You see that? The worker. Okay, cool. So that's Masaru taken. So where do we go with our scout now? We go right back to where we were. And it's going to heal. Right? And it's going to sit here. This is why the importance of two workers comes in. I mean, two scouts, sorry. You're able to kind of have a ton of pressure 
stealing workers from city states like this is generating me hammers right this just generated me 32 free hammers having the scout here right the rest of my units right like if if i wasn't stealing from trying to show you how to steal from havana or something this would come back my warrior would be over here and we'd be protecting my capital and you know pseudo escorting my settlers to their spots right there is a way when you learn the game really well, you can understand where barbarians can be and where they can't be. So, based on you know, sp uh, based on barb spawn, camp spawns, and stuff, and proximities between them and such, you can kind of figure out okay, like it's safe for my settler to go here because there's a camp, you know, right here. I know there there can't be a camp right here, so I could walk my my settler alone up there. Things like that kind of dictate how you can play aggressively in the early game with your settlers and not have to worry about losing them. That being said, when you're starting out and you're learning, just escort every settler. It the Your game gets so incredibly hurt if you lose a settler in general. I'm going to show you how to steal from Talon as well. Um... It is not worth the risk at all if there is any. This is me saying this is mostly for experienced players who, um, you know, have their fundamentals down and are trying to kind of speed up their games by taking more calculated risk. Because um, when you get to really competitive levels of Civ, it's it's not feasible to escort all of your settlers because one if you're playing liberty it's you're not you you literally can't um, and then as you saw i'm kind of just flickering back and forth on this hill to see if a new worker has spawned so i saw another one spawn so i'm going to go and grab that and this kind of just proves my point that you can kind of just repeatedly steal from Masaru here um and then i'll show you talon as well but this it's the same it's the same concepts like regardless uh this is just kind of two different examples kind of just showing the same thing in this case i'm on a hill but this force is blocking me so i'm able to steal from this horse tile and then in this case like the hills blocking the path to the the worker the city state can't see me um, so uh, uh, in a real game you're not stealing from two city states you're usually only stealing from one but you know, just for the sake of showing you, this is kind of what it looks like. And we're just going to skip ahead here. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm getting shot by this bar, but it doesn't matter because the city is actually going to help me kill it. Uh, I'm just going to just stay fortified. Okay, it looks like another horse spawned over there so we're gonna position for that one actually i guess it's 50 50 between what masaru wants to what the masaru worker wants to go for here so it looks like i'm getting shot by a barb but yeah so i i won't be able to steal from masaru now that there's a barb over here shooting but look talon comes out this worker is going to try to improve this tile so Either one, either one of these steals would have been great. Uh, in a real game, probably would have leaned to Masaru because it's closer proximity to this city. Um, while Talon also has this barb camp problem, and you know, there's a whole slew of th problems that can kind of spawn from that. But hopefully, this makes sense. This shows you that when you're looking for city-state worker steals you should be primarily thinking about how fast that worker can get to your city. Additionally, how fast or how possible it is to multi-steal from. There's certain city-states where it's impossible to multi-steal, right? Like if the whole thing is hills in the second ring, right, you, you know, you, you, you can't steal multi-steal from it. And that, that will happen sometimes. And when that happens, it's best to try to find a city state where you can multi-seal from, even if it's further away. But, you know, there's a diplomacy thing where it's like, you know, is Masaru the best one for me? 
potentially, but it's also extremely close for Cordoba. And it's likely that Cordoba needs the worker from Masaru because he doesn't have any other city states to steal from. Okay, you know, this is something we talk about in the game. We're like, okay, like, fine, you take Masaru, I'll take Cordoba, I'll take Tallinn, but I want Lake Vic right away or something like that. Right. And this is like the discussion you have, and this guy goes, and this guy tells you, go fuck yourself. And then you're like, okay, fine, I'll come and kill you with chariots. Like, normal civ discussion right but um in all seriousness like there's a diplomacy part to this as well where you have to kind of balance those two things in general like tallinn's definitely my city state steal masaru is more likely cordoba's but given that we wanted to steal from this masaru makes more sense so hopefully this makes sense hopefully you can use this in your games hopefully you can think about this when you're you know going for um Learn, like going for certain city states to steal from and this is something you can think about going forward um, also just a tip press m when you're moving with an archer that way you don't accidentally shoot the worker which has happened to everyone at least twice so if this happens to you don't worry it happens to everyone but just make sure that you learn from your mistakes so anyway thanks everyone for watching uh stay tuned for part five whenever i post that